Hey guys. Recently a dear friend of mine asked me about assurance of salvation. He wanted to know how I knew that I was saved because he was lacking assurance. I told him that I was basing my assurance on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and what he did for me. That because I have believed the gospel, because I put my faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, I am resting in what he did for me on Calvary's cross. I'm not resting in my good works, in my performance, in how I feel at any given moment, but on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Unfortunately, there are a lot of Christians who base their assurance and how they feel at any given moment on their performance, on their good works. And you will never get assurance that way. The moment you take your eyes off the cross of Christ and you put it on yourself, you are going to lack assurance. As I said, our feelings go up and down based on different circumstances. If you were to go in the world today and preach the gospel to many people, and several of them were to come to know our Lord, you'd feel pretty good. But if tomorrow morning you go to your doctor and he tells you that you've got cancer, now you're in the dumps. The assurance of your salvation should not be based on how you feel in either of those circumstances, but on the finished work of Christ. Keep your eyes on the cross, not on your feelings, not on your performance or good works, but on the cross. Also, if you are a Christian and you have fallen into sin, you are going to lack assurance. You need to keep short accounts with our Lord. When you sin, you go to him and you confess those sins. If not, I guarantee that Satan is going to condemn you every single day and tell you that you're not saved. Confess your sins. Go to him. Keep short accounts with our Lord to maintain that fellowship with him. And Satan will not be able to condemn you and tell you that you're not saved. We can know that we have assurance. We can know that we are safe and secure in the arms of Jesus Christ based on the entire Bible. But here are a few scriptures for you. In the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 24, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Romans 5, verses 9 and 10 says, Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Philippians 1, 6 says, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 7.25 says, Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. And 1 John 5.13 says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. My friends, you can have assurance in Jesus Christ if you put your faith and trust in Him and rest in what He has done for you in Calvary's cross. Do not look to your feelings. Do not look to your good works. Do not look to your performance. But look to the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and rest in Him. Rest in what He has done for you. Do not put it on yourself. Put it on the cross of Christ. God bless.